Good morning everyone. If you do have any gaming laptop, then this video is for you. Regardless the model, the procedure would be the same. For example, nowadays I can see many gaming laptops does have overheating issues. So overheating happen for main two reasons. One of them, if there is any hardware faults with the cooling fan, heat sink or thermal paste. Okay. And most of the time it does happen lack of careness. For example, if the cooling fan get too much dusty, any sort of blockage, or if you use the laptop top of any sort of soft surface like let's say sofa bed and stuff like that so today in this video i'm going to show you how to look after it if you do have any sort of overheating issues then you might can give it a try and save your gaming laptop without spending a lot of money on it so first of all you should have some tools as you can see right here Okay, the good quality thermal paste, you can get it from Amazon. I'm going to leave one of the product link there you can get. This is quite good. And then also you should have compressed air, vacuum cleaner, like let's say ordinary household vacuum cleaner. And then also you should have some sort of 99.99% rubbing alcohol to clean the old dried off thermal paste and right screwdriver. It depends on which laptop you do have, but most of the laptop does come with uh, Phillips screws, so you need a Phillips screwdriver. Flat opening tool, plastic is better. Paint brush, as you can see, just to wipe it off if there is anything left over. And you can use tissues to clean it, especially the blue rule does help a lot. So let's get into the video and get things sorted. This video is going to be quite longer, around 10 to 15 minutes to cover up everything. And also in this video, I'm going to show you not only cleaning the heat sink or thermal paste, also at the same time, how you can properly clean your cooling fan, CPU fan, GPU fan, both of them.
So this is the actual heatsink with the cooling fan, CPU and GPU both on them. As you can see, I'm just using compressed air to clean it. Even I'm using that compressed air, but it will not clean 100%. So what you have to do, I'm going to show you later on in this video. This is the big home cleaner, just to take out any excessive dust around the motherboard or other components next to the speaker, even next to the hinges, because later on, if you don't clean that, later on the same dust could sucked into the fan and that would seep on the radiator until you clean. Even I'm using the vacuum cleaner and compressed air, still it would not clean. Okay, I'm just demonstrating this one to show you how to do it correctly. Okay, later on, we're gonna take out this fan, we're gonna take out the top cover, and once we open the top cover, we'll see still there are a lot of chunk of dust and everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab one clear. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, let's take a blank page, any white sheet or anything. And then we'll take apart these cooling fans and we'll see if there is any dust left over. I'm pretty sure there are some. And most of the gaming laptops fan, you can take out those screws comes with tiny tiny screws three to four it depends on which model and you can just separate it like that and i can see here is the big chunk as you can see look how big it is okay and also on the fan so now individually we're going to clear the fan look how big 